So we're going to bring up our next presenter, uh, who is a former townie raised in Champaign, but summered in Havana. Uh, he was born in Iowa City. <laughs> Summer in Urbana. Yeah. That's, that's sad. That's sad. <laughs> Not really. I like Urbana. I take that back. I take that back. Um, he was born in Iowa City, is now living and working as an architect in Madison, Wisconsin. Todd is only allowed to live in Big Ten cities. So, ladies and gentlemen, Todd Barnett. I know I'm not supposed to say anything, but it's true, I did summer in Urbana. Uh, you're listening to a recording of my grandfather, Nat Brusiloff, playing a piece he wrote. For the old timers here, one of his claims to fame is he was fired by Kate Smith for putting one too many whoopee cushions on our chair. On expectation, this rare recording provides a small but important connection to a man who I never met and died far too young. I was invited to join Madison's Urban Design Commission, a review board for publicly funded and specially zoned projects, and was reluctant. How could I give up one evening every two weeks? Eventually I accepted, serving 12 years. On view are projects we reviewed. All but one was approved. On expectation, the reward of civic involvement and hopefully helping make your city a better place. This home was a plain vinyl sided box with a very fat, sad cupola. After much discussion of whether to save or discard, we developed a scheme to rescue it and locate the stair underneath the cupola and rearrange the interior spaces. An expectation, working in unfamiliar style and according to the client, pulling it off. Canals, I grew up in Illinois and was unaware of the Hennepin Heritage Canal, an idyllic historic engineering marvel built in the turn of the century near LaSalle, Peru. It was only after moving to Madison that I discovered this place, now a recreational amenity with historical gems, unexpectations, finding this jewel in the middle of the Illinois Plains. A tired 1950s ranch needed tender loving care. Initially, the project was limited to siding and window replacement, but evolved into a total renovation. Unexpectation, you never know when a project initially sounds straightforward, turns into something special, thanks to the clients who are now my friends. The state of Guanajuato in Mexico is set at 6,000 feet in the central highlands. Graced by picturesque colonial hill towns, it offers amazing people, sights, tastes, and history. Two towns in particular, Guanajuato and San Miguel de Allende, tug at me when I leave. On expectation, if you listen to the travel advice of your thesis advisor, you'll end up with a third home. Just before Easter, San Miguel children are given confetti-filled eggs. They then run around the town square, smashing them over their friends' heads. The colors, combined with the kids' laughter and wild smiles, are a delight. An expectation? Wondering if the tradition of Easter eggs in the state should be reconsidered. <laughs> After years of daily visits to a local coffee shop, the owner asked me to collaborate on the design for a new home. His modern vision was music to my ears, but I wondered if it would happen, it seemed. Frankly, too cool. This six-level six home on 1,600 square foot site um, was the result. An expectation, investing 2,000 cups of coffee can pay off on an architectural practice. <laughs> Farm country, I find the Midwest landscape natural and built, breathtaking and powerful. These three structures are on my route from Madison to Champaign and always impact me. An expectation, encountering architectural beauty, not designed by an architect. Relatives. While in San Miguel, my stepfather stopped to admire a painter's work at the main square. He said hello to the artist who was from Mexico City. They exchanged names. Hers the same name as my grandfather, Brusilov. After further digging, we were able to confirm that we were long lost cousins. An expectation? You never know where you'll find family and a free bed. <laughs> a few years ago, I was invited to teach a three-day course in residential architecture at the Universidad de Guanajuato. I agreed only if there would be a translator due to my poor Spanish. The translator introduced me, left the room, and never returned. An expectation <laughs> that five of the original 25 stuck with me, though they spent most of the time laughing. <laughs> Iowa only seems to get attention during the presidential primaries, but this neighboring state has much to offer. Great winding roads, historic buildings, modern architecture, and oddities like James T. Kirk's birthplace. It has become a weekend destination for me. An expectation the state just won over has more to offer than the zoo of the, of the first primary. 
Madison has a wonderful program which introduces grade still children to city planning and architecture. Since 2004, I've served as a mentor as the kids dream up cities for a more sustainable world. Deciding on things such as whether to allow cars and how to top off their buildings with green roofs or trampolines. Unexpectation, the joy of watching young minds at work. I asked, uh, was asked to design a Quaker meeting house in Urbana. Images ran through my mind when I learned uh, that they wanted the design to be about place and light. The project on your right, maybe it's your left, uh, is the one that resulted. Thanks to word of mouth, I designed a second Quaker meeting house outside Chicago. Unexpectation, decision making by consensus enriches the process. This sketch is from my year in France on the School of Architecture Oversee program. At the time, I wasn't sketching, but delineating. What happened was transformational. It began to rain and I had to finish and finish fast. What resulted was, although certainly not a gem, was my first true sketch. Unexpectation, what seemed like a misfortune, turned out to be good luck. While in college, my mother and father played matchmaker, introducing Les and Judy. Here are pictures of Les and Judy at a party, and then soon Les and Judy married, and here's Les and Judy's son and myself on vacation. And here's a recent endeavor of Les and Judy's son, Matt Weiner, director and producer of Mad Men. Unexpectation, blind dates can go well. If not for my mother and father, there would be no Mad Men. <laughs> when I was seven, my mother, brother, and I lived in Israel for the year. I didn't want to go because I would miss my favorite TV show, Daniel Boone. But after the first week of trips to the markets and archaeological digs, I was sold. To top it off, we lived in this wonderful Corbu-esque building where immigrants from around the world came together. Unexpectation, it's okay to miss your favorite show. Here are images of one person that looks familiar and the other who for a time was trying to stay clear of the CIA for fear of being used as a double. That's the Dom on your left and my father on the right. My father over time has begun to look uh, appreciate the status. Unexpectation. Realizing your father could actually be the dictator I thought he was when I was a kid. <laughs> I stumbled upon this incredible structure, a drying barn south of Rockford, Illinois. From a distance it seemed like a nice round bar, but upon closer inspection and a bit of trespassing I entered and was simply blown away by the quality of light. It was simply marvelous and rivaled any cathedral I'd ever been in. Unexpectation. See what you find on the road less traveled. I grew up a little schmaltzy now. I grew up in Champaign, summered in Urbana, and was a vendor and union organizer at Illinois football games and played Little League on Kirby Avenue. I was given three choices of where to go to college, Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. <laughs> this community is a gem, starting with the warm people. An expectation, realizing the rewards of growing up in Champaign are much greater. Mia Badger, not on your life. Thank you.